Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and part four of my army build challenge. And in this video, I thought it'd be fun to do the army update and show you the progress so far. I was going to do this a day or two ago, but I just got carried away building everything. And so I just kept going through the big pile of the infantry to see if I could get them finished by today. And so I think it'd be fun to just show you what I've done. So let's head over to the table. There's a lot going on. Let's have a look. It's getting really full now and full of models, so not many left to build actually. So I've made a lot of progress over Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So really happy with the stage wrap. But let's head to the table and I'll talk you through everything I've done so far. So here we go, here's the table and it's getting really full now. I thought it'd be fun just to do a quick overview of everything that I've done up to this stage and then we'll focus in on some of the new units and take a closer look at the models I've built since the last video. So here we go, we've got some of the main ones here. We've got Yarrick and the Psyker, we've got Snipers, Ratlings, we've got our Ogrins, Gaunt's Ghost, then we've got the four squads of Scions there. We've got our Cadian Troopers, altogether four squads of those and each squad is going to have a heavy weapons team included or I'll reduce it to three squads and have no heavy weapons teams. This section is all Katachan so we've got one, two, three, four units there. Three of those units will have heavy weapons teams and then I've got another unit on the way that I'm going to build as well. And then we've got all the main characters here, which we'll run through later on. So that's great. I'm going to go for two heavy weapons teams, both mortars on this. And I'll also do another one of missiles and heavy bolters. Then here we've got the vehicles. Here's the boat. You may have seen that swift boat that I did a video of not that long ago. And then all the other vehicles and tanks. So we've got three Lehman Russ battle tanks and one Lehman Russ demolisher. And that's got the Gatling gun on there. Then we've got the two... Hellhounds and the two Chimeras. Then we've got a Basilisk, two Wyverns, the Death Strike, the Manticore, and two Torox Primes. We've got two Scout Sentinels and those Cyclops Demolition Vehicles. There's still loads of spares on all these sprue boxes here, but the main one is the tracks for the tanks that I've got to cut out, and I'm going to stick them on. So thanks for your help and advice on that one. Then there's the Valkyrie to build, and I'll just move the camera so we can have a look at the other sections here. So I've also got to do the so the Valkyrie and the Bane Blade. Got to do that too. Go through the tank accessory sprues and these two heavy weapons boxes as well. One for Cadian, one for Katachan. And what I like to do is use this big foam sheet to lay out all the pieces. And I've got one single heavy weapon team here that came in the start collecting set for the Cadians. And then I'm going to open these up, get everything trimmed up, lay it all on this foam, and that's going to work out really nicely so I can see exactly what I've got to work with. I can highly recommend getting some of this soft foam. This was some packaging that came with my computer when it was delivered a while back and I've kept it and it's perfect for putting models like this on because there's friction there and it keeps all the little pieces well in place. If you drop run, it doesn't go bouncing off and getting lost either. So it's really handy and makes it really clear to see exactly what pieces you have. Now let's have a look at some of the individual units and here's my first Katachan unit and this one I've gone with these boonie hats and these are from Anvil Industry which I'll be doing a separate video of real soon showing you all the different bits I got for that and so we've got different hats and the rugsacks and the hands as well and so I've given these guys some different stances these are more stealth they're using hand commands as they move through the jungle so those hands from Anvil Industry have come in really handy and I think they add a little bit of character to these models and just take it away from all of them looking the same the Bergens on the back look great really happy with those and then I've tried to go heavy with the fangs here those big blades so that each of them have them but yeah really like these some have uh, bed rolls on them some don't but really nice pieces to add some variety to the models and then yeah you can see the fangs here dotted around all on the different models so yeah I really wanted them all to have a fang on them I've tried to give each of my squad a different theme. So these are more your kind of stealth recon squad. And so I've tried to represent that in the poses they're in. So they're not rushing forward. I haven't used the running legs on these. I'll move these out of the way so you can see the ones at the back. They just look a little bit more um, like calm and collective, a bit stealthier. They're not rushing into the fight and they're just moving around a little bit quieter than they would in the normal battle. So this isn't really going to work out in any of the rules, but it's certainly going to add some narrative. 
Here's my second squad, and so now these are the assault squads. So they're going to be running into battle, and I've got the grenade launcher here, the vox caster, and then the sergeant in the middle with the. He's got the fang, but that'll be a power sword, and then he's got the pistol. And then at the back, we've got five other models, and they're going to be the regular infantry, and I've used the running legs just to represent them moving fast into the battle. Here's the third squad led by Ripper Jackson. And so this one is going to be a kind of amber squad. So we've got the heavy flamer, Voxcaster. And then at the back there, we've got the infantry. This one's throwing a grenade. And most of them are taking a stunts to ambush the enemy. But there's one guy here who just can't wait. And he's keen to get stuck in with both his gun and with his fang as well. So he's running towards the enemy there. I thought it'd be fun to make a veteran squad and so I put berets on these and these are going to be green berets and this guy's come out really good, really happy with him. I've used the head from the Scions pack and he's got the power fist there. This guy's got the shotgun head and torso from Anvil Industries so you can see those parts dotted around. A heavy flamer and then at the back here the regular infantry but they can take shotguns so I've got two more shotguns there. And then I've gone for three multi-melters. So I really want to get these guys close within six inches and unleash all these weapons on them. You're going to get buffs for the multi-melters, shotguns as well by getting in that close. So I think these are going to be really fun to play. And some of them have got the Bergens on from Anvil Industries as well. But this guy I want to have a closer look at because I just think he's come out really cool. He's a proper sergeant, looks great. And um, yeah, everything just came together really nicely with this. And I put these little daggers on there from the Scions. So kind of going down the way of the Royal Marine Commandos here. Green Berets, they've got the daggers and they just look awesome. So yeah, really happy with this one. This could be my favourite character actually so far. I might even promote him to Platoon Commander. Now we're on to the Cadians. I'll go through these a little bit quicker. We've got the Sergeant and he's got the chain sword and pistol. And then we've got the Vox Caster and we've also got a grenade launcher. And this is what I've run with with most of the Cadian units and then five infantry at the back. And I've repeated that for three of the units. So three squads like that and each are going to have a heavy weapons, heavy bolter team. Then here I've got a selection that's either going to be a veteran team with a heavy weapon added to it or I can use them as a special weapons team, something like that. So we've got heavy flamer, vox caster, sergeant, got two melters and three plasmas. So those three plasmas, my son really likes those weapons, so he wanted to have three of them included for the Cadians. So with these guys, I could remove those two if I wanted to, bring in two regular infantry guardsmen, and then bring in a heavy weapons team, a heavy bolt or something like that. And then that's going to give a 10-man team if I wanted to use it like that. Next up, we've got the Scions. And now, these models took ages. They're so cool to have built, and I'm so happy they're finished. But here's the Tempestus Prime. We've got a command squad here with two hotshot volley guns. We've got uh, a medic, and then we've got the comms with the Vox Caster there as well. And now we've got a five-man squad with a sergeant, another power fist. I really like power fists. And then I've gone for the las guns here but i've taken off the cables so i thought it'd be fun to get rid of those i think they look better and also easier to discern between the those and the hotshot volley guns then got a multi-melter and a grenade launcher in there too and with this squad i really want to be getting in there lobbing in some grenades from the grenade launcher and then getting up close with that power fist and multi-melter but two more squads of Scions, and these will be the ones coming in with the Valkyrie. So I've gone for a Sergeant, and the different helmets on these just to represent the idea they're dropping in. Got two Plasmas and then two regular Las Guns or Hotshot Las Guns. And then here's the second unit. Again, we've got that Sergeant there with the Chainsword and Plasma, two Hotshot Volley Guns, and two Hotshot Las Guns there. Again, trimmed those off so you can quickly and easily tell the difference. Not sure if I'd built these before the last video or not, so I thought I'd show you them quickly. We've got the Ogrins, just three, and I've built one as Nork Dedog, and then the other two as regular Ogrins. And now I'm not sure whether to put the shoulder pad on or not, so I might go back and add some little pieces from the kit, because you get a load of optional extras there, so I might have a look at that. May even look at using some of the Ogres from Age of Sigma and, and kit bashing them a bit. I've put together some of the main characters here as well. So I don't think these were built last time. We've got the priest. Love this guy with a chainsword. It's going to be great fun. The Primaris Psyker. 
We've got Yarrick here, great looking model, glad we got this now. And then we've got Clyde, who's going to be a proxy for a Psyker, and he'll be attached to the Katachan, so and I'm going to put him up a tree, which I think will be awesome. Then from the kits, I put together these three models, uh, four models, I should say, and one from Anvil Industry. This one is the Colonel for the Katachan, so I built him with bits I had to look like that Colonel that's going for at least £50 at the moment on eBay, which is crazy. I've got this guy, the Jungle Commissar from Anvil Industry. He's going to be great with the Katachans. I thought I'd make a sniper, and he's like a veteran sniper. He's going to be attached to the Cadians. And I might use him as some kind of assassin, the Vindicare assassin proxy, maybe. And then this guy, company commander, or platoon commander, with power sword and plasma pistol. And the colonel here's got the power fist, he's got the plasma pistol, he's got all sorts going on. So yeah, a great way to save some money there. And it was great fun to see if I could get close to that model using all the bits I had. And then that little box he's got his leg up on is also from Anvil Industry. And one final addition I made this week is this little dice box, which is an ammo pack. And this is like £2.50. You can find this online now. And uh, so, yeah, it's handy. Just keep some dice in. Keeps um, all together these 12 mil dice. I can get 36 in there if I wanted to. But I've just gone with 30 and then put six of these smaller 10 mil dice just to represent different weapons when I do the rolling. As I've been making all these models, I've been filming the unboxing video, so expect them to come thick and fast now. And I'll do one really soon, going through the haul from Anvil Industries, showing you all the different parts that I've got and what I'm going to use them for, and then going in close on each item so you get a really good look at it. Happy with the progress so far, and this week is going to continue this pace of getting everything built and then get all these tracks on the tanks. And then once I've done that, I can start looking at magnetizing the different weapons and then start thinking about actually getting these primed, painted and based up. So, yeah, a fair bit of work to do yet. I should be able to get this done by the end of this weekend. And yeah, so look out for more updates, though, because I'll keep you updated. I'll also go through some other things this week as I'm putting the army together. So there we go. Loads of models built now. Just those two um, heavy weapon squads to do. Then the Bane Blade and the Valkyrie. And we'll be pretty much almost there. Then I've got to do all the tracks on the tank again. So that's going to be a pretty big job to get that done. And then just going through all the sprues. Picking up all the other miniature parts. Like from the different tanks and things like that. So like from the Basilisk set. And from the tank accessory sprues. I'll be picking out the miniatures from there. Putting together like a Master of Ordnance, Master of the Fleet. Those kind of mo models. And see if I can build it from what I've got here. So yeah, still a fair bit to do. And I'm really hoping to get all this done by the end of next Saturday evening. So let's see how we do this week. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And as always, if you've got any questions, add them in the comments section below. I love hearing your feedback and your questions and your tips as well. So if you've been playing Astra Militarum for a while, I'd love to hear your favourite units that you like to take into battle and any tips you've got for me as a new Astra Militarum player. So yeah, add all that down below. Look out for that video coming real soon for the Anvil industry bits and also some other unboxing videos and lots more as well on top of that. So thanks again for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.